you're like me, you're one of those nerds that likes to look at how other people pack up their stuff. Today, I'm sharing my setup with how I carry my Blackmagic Pocket 6K around when I go to shoots on location and travel. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kendrick Dish. I run a small video production company based out of Atlanta called Vertical River. We shoot mostly corporate stuff. And so today I thought I would share my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K carry setup. All the stuff that's in this bag, let's take a quick look. For starters, what is this bag? This is the Think Tank Photo Video Transporter 20. Now, unfortunately, Think Tank Photo decided to no longer make these video transporter bags. And it makes me sad because they are so good. Think Tank, if you're listening, I hope you come out with these, an updated version of these like your other bags, because these are awesome. Anyway, uh, it's carry-on compatible, or it's lug, you know, it, it's like a suitcase. And it's rigid. It's like really firm. So it's, it's not quite... The, the sturdiness of a Pelican case, but it's really solid. I don't have any concerns about it. Maybe a little from the top, but not too bad. So uh, it roll, it's got roller wheels that are like the Think Tank standard wheels. It's got the le feet here uh, and on the sides, it's got a pocket where you can put a, a tripod and, and put the strap to hold the tripod in. I've done that, works pretty well. On this side, you got a handle and you got TSA friendly locking mechanism there. That's pretty much the outside. We got one big pocket right here. Let's quickly dive into that. And what I keep in here is this is where I keep our slap board and the clipboard with uh, scripts and whatnot. So that's what I keep in there. Let's dive into the good stuff. As you can see, it opens this way and it's got these straps that keep the lid from going way back. And I think that's really good. I've got pockets of stuff up here, but let's get into it. I know you're all eager to see the camera. So in, the, uh, in this part here, I have a little bag that is lens clean, like camera cleaning and lens cleaning and stuff. And here I've got a little bag that is all the bits and bobs and pieces for rigging. Little, um, little bags of parts, some rails, some monitor, you know, these things, uh, you know, that stuff. A little small rig, um, Allen wrench set. This is really useful. Keep all that in there, and that way I know I've got uh, some of the basics of what I need always with the camera. Now, when I go out on a, on a set, I, ha I carry a lot of cases with me. This isn't the only thing I bring with me. This is just what I consider like the camera kit. Now, let's pull out this camera. This is a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. I do not like saying that. And on it, I've got the Canon Cine lens, the 18 to 80 servo lens. Uh, I like this lens for documentary work, and, and it's because it's it's image stabilized to a very high degree. It's very good at that. I I shoot it like this, so that slides in there perfectly. I have other lenses that I take with me, but I take them in a different case. In this back pocket right here, uh, I've got a monitor and the power cable for the monitor. Even though I use batteries most of the time, I still have the power cable. This is the uh, Atomos Shogun Flame. Uh, and I don't usually use it to record, I just have it. And so I use it as a seven inch monitor and it works great. Sometimes I don't want a seven inch monitor. I want something smaller. And so I keep up in here, I keep a small HD, uh, small HD monitor, and it's much lighter and it works great too. Over on this side, keep a pair of headphones. Often these actually are with my audio kit, but um, sometimes they're in this bag as well. Then we've reached the battery portion. 
inside of this is inside of this is the Peter McKinnon uh, tote. Uh, I have Sony batteries. I keep my Sony batteries in here, and they I sometimes use those to power the Blackmagic 6K using the adapter, using this adapter. Um, and I have the power cable for the camera as well. So if I have the opportunity to plug in to the wall, I will. Those are inside of a, there's actually a little, um, one of those little tiny suitcase giveaways thing that if you get a fly first class, they give you a little, you know, little gift kit or whatever with sleep mask and socks and toothbrush and whatnot. So, uh, you know, pretty heavy duty little case. And so I recycle these. And I have another one, this one here, uh, same thing, but this one has the Canon LP batteries in it. And I use these to power the camera as well as the small HD monitor that's there. So we've got batteries galore and power options. Up here, as you can see in this one, uh, it's just a mess of cables, all sorts of cables, H HDMI cables, some audio cables, uh, USB-C cables up here uh, as you can see I've got the uh, Samsung hard drives which is what I I like to record to I haven't had any problems with that so far but I know some people say they have problems I haven't had a problem yet hopefully I don't um, but that's up there and then I also have uh, the color checker that I use um, to make sure we got our colors accurate uh, a couple other like a little notebook just in case I need to write some stuff down and uh, cleaning cl cleaning tissues uh, same thing over here I got some cleaning tissues extras uh, I got some stickers for my company some some swag just so I can make sure to give those out if I'm out and about uh, hand those to people uh, I've got a, a marker eraser and a marker for the slap board, the clapper board, uh, a Sharpie, and another lens cleaning item. So that's all just kind of, well, is up in there. That's the whole case. That's everything. Let's rig it up real quick. Okay, I just got this thing rigged up how I, how I often uh, use it. And so we've got the small HD monitor on there. We've got the power uh, from the Sony battery. We've got the uh, Samsung hard drive attached. And I hold it like this and I look down at the monitor and I use my left hand to dial in the focus and the zoom. And I usually don't mess with the aperture because I don't need to. Uh, but that's where I control the aperture as well. And that's, um, that's my handheld rig or in a, you know, same, pretty similar on a tripod. I don't, I don't, I usually keep the tripod stuff with the tripod, but this is my base level black magic pocket cinema setup. And it works out really well, except for one thing. Uh, the power situation is, is not good. Uh, I don't like how the black magic is so power sensitive, meaning what I mean is the power will start going down from the batteries very quickly and then it just shuts off and it's, it's very finicky. So, you know, the charger tells me that the, the battery has battery juice, but the camera says, nope, it doesn't. And I've had this situation happen a bunch of times and I feel like the, the camera takes up so much, especially with the the powered lens uh, attached that is drawing too much power. So I don't like the power situation. Now I did get a V mount battery um, situation going with this and I got the, the map box and I got the auto, the follow focus mechanisms and I got all that stuff, but it, it, it's not very handheld user friendly. Um, I got a shoulder mount system I can use with this, but 
this little quick little form factor is what I like using for handheld and run and gun type stuff. And uh, I'm gonna miss it because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell this, this camera. Uh, I've already bought my next camera, which if you're watching this channel, I bet you know what it is. It is the Canon C70. And that's actually what I'm using to film this video right now. Uh, I've been using it a little bit. I really like it. I've got a gig. Um, I'm going to use it on my first professional gig next week. And, uh, and I look forward to putting it through its paces. I'll catch you guys on the next one.